I want to start this week's video just by saying I know I've had a lot of complaining times where I've talked about all the problems that I've been having and I don't want anybody to think that I'm giving up or or struggling hugely that seems like it might be what it sounds like I'm sharing those things because it it's part of van life and maybe other people can relate and I just want to be really realistic about what's going on um, as I start out in this van life. I'm still really happy that I'm doing it. There's been a couple of times where I've really shook my head and went, what am I doing? But I've never wanted to quit. Yeah, the thoughts cross my mind, but it's too strong in me that I've wanted to do this for so long. I really love it. Um, I love the idea of it coming up to it. Sorry, arm's getting sore. I need to really make sure that my tripod's always accessible to me. Anyways, I've dreamed about this for a long time, planned, thought I had all the things worked out that might go wrong. And I think for the most part I did, but some of the stuff that I knew that might go wrong, I kind of brushed over and just thought, I'm just going to deal with that when it comes. And really, that's kind of what I've done. Um, so I'm still enjoying it. I still want to do this. Uh, yes, things are hard sometimes, but today the sun came out and it was freaking amazing. Like, and what a boost to my, um, my mental health, I guess. <laughs> it just really helped. And even now that I'm back in my van and, you know, it's a little cooler than it was earlier today, but, um, I feel like I'm able to take it more just because I had that nice little gift of sunshine this morning for, I don't know, five or six hours. I got out and went for a walk and did a few other things. And so I just wanted to clarify that things are not terrible. They're just kind of hard sometimes, but mixed in with that are all the good things too. I just might forget to tell you about all those. Just thought I'd show you what my mornings look like. It's still so cold, and I guess I kind of knew it would be like this when I was planning this months and even years ago, um, thinking that I would be out before spring was done um, living in my van. So this is what I do in the mornings now. It seems it's starting to become a pattern. It's so cold when I wake up, and I don't want to turn the heater on because I hate the... I don't think it's healthy to have that heater on. It's a butane heater on all the time for me <clears throat> so I get up in the morning and I put on my winter jacket and this cord belongs to my heating pad which is plugged into my jackery and I sit like that and I read my bible and I talk to God uh, which is what my morning routine has always kind of been. So this is how I do it so that I'm not so totally focused on being cold all the time. And right now I'm waiting for the sun. I have the blinds off on the sunny side of my van if the sun ever comes out. Yesterday it came out a little bit, not a lot, but it warmed up my van enough until it was up to 80 degrees. And I'm telling you, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I loved it. Usually that would be too hot for me in my house when I was living in my house, but man, I just soaked that in and enjoyed it. And, um, and then a windstorm came up and eventually cooled it back down again. So anyways, that's what my mornings look like. Here's what my view is. I'm in a Soyuz again. Oh my gosh, I woke up to sunshine today looks so foreign, not used to it. It's been so rainy and cold. The sun came out and I am blissfully happy. Kind of sound like I'm a, what's it called? A manic depressive or something where I'm just totally manic when the sun's out and totally depressed when it's cold and cloudy. Anyways, I'm just here this morning making my breakfast, just frying some potatoes and then I will be frying up the sausage to go with that. 
I know, totally healthy, but that's what I'm doing. I'm so happy to be cooking outside and cooking a real meal. I guess since I'm outside, I might as well show you my view. This is an amazing campsite in Osoyoos. It's on a spit of land that goes out into the middle of the lake. So my view this way is lake. And there's my van. And then my view this way is lake. How great is that? thinking I mentioned a few weeks a few yeah a few weeks back that my um, drawers had collapsed I had taken the two little um, spacer bars that are supposed to go on the top that stabilizes it off that's why they came off they come off occasionally now too but I'm ready for it and catch it before it gets too bad but they're sort of functional now pretty functional and the finished product I usually have onions in that too But my onion was completely rotten. It actually came from the house with me when I moved out. Cheers. I've been thinking about some things that uh, I wanted to put forward in regards to some of the problems that I've been having as I'm starting out on my van life. Um, this whole channel, this channel, one of the main purposes or the original idea for starting it was to be about um, exchanging ideas and figuring out better ways to do things, particularly for somebody who's traveling as a person in a wheelchair. So I'm going to tell you some of the things that I've been struggling with. I think you know some of them already, um, or maybe you don't, uh, but I'm putting them out there because I'm looking for suggestions. So please put your suggestions in the comments. Um, the whole cold thing I've sort of dealt with. Um, I mean, I have my heater and it's working pretty well, but it burns through a lot of butane, so I don't like to use it. Um, I like to use it sparingly because I don't wanna keep buying those canisters. And also, um, well, I just don't like, I don't think it's healthy to be burning that all the time in my van. It's a, it's an enclosed space. I do have two windows cracked. So yes, I know I've, I've heard people's suggestions. I, I was aware of that, that it was important to keep some windows cracked. So I have that. Uh, but, um, outside of doing the things that I've been doing, I'm not sure what else to be doing. Cause when I'm cold, man, it sure affects my productivity. I don't get a lot done because I just want to be huddled under the covers and watch videos, which I can't do because while I have a, a significant amount of internet, it's not enough to just stream videos all the time, which is something I love to do at home. Um, and it is something that I'm kind of missing, but that's okay. I don't need that. Uh, one thing that I'm struggling with too is trying to get comfortable in my van. I don't have room to have extra stuff in here, like like some kind of little chair or something that I could sit on to get comfortable. Um, so I'm trying to sit on a floor that's unlevel. My bed's not completely level, which is fine. I find it really comfortable at night, but um, it's not great for finding a comfortable way to sit during the day. I feel like my um, hips get really sore sitting cross-legged all the time. There's just not much space to spread out. So, not sure what other people do. Let me know. Uh, I find it really hard to move around too. Dragging my legs around in here and only using my shoulders and arms is hard. Um, it's hard. On, I have bad shoulders anyways. And I'm finding that one of my forearms is giving me some pain. It's not terrible, but I don't want that to increase and get worse. I'd like to take care of that. So just moving around is is tough. And I know that a lot of you won't understand um, what these problems are that I'm experiencing unless you're somebody who uses a wheelchair full time. I can't stand it all, so I, I just... Um, 
I have to do all my moving around by lifting my butt with my arms and scooching along the floor in here, which is my bed. The only floor I've got in my van is the bed. Um, anyways, uh, it's hard to get dressed because I, uh, I like to get dressed on my bed so I can roll over to one side get my pants over one butt cheek, roll over to the other side. Maybe this is too infor too much information for some of you. Roll over to the other side, pull my pants over the other butt cheek. Um, there's no room to roll over. I've just got to yank and yank and yank until I get, um, get my clothes on. It's just, it's harder. So suggestions, totally welcome. Um, the wheelchair takes up so much space in here. I think I've showed you this before. Uh, I don't know what to do with it. I'm actually thinking of having something sewed so that I can keep it outside and not worry about if it's going to rain or not and just have it covered. And also a way to um, padlock it, whatever... Uh, to the van somehow so that not something that's going to scratch my van but you know something some way to lock the chair to my van so that somebody can't just run away with it so anyways those are things that I'm just hoping that I can get some suggestions on okay so more problems this one isn't as big because I've already found a solution my battery died I've been using my car battery to charge my Jackery because there hasn't been enough sun to put the solar panel out. Probably should have put the solar panel out just to assist or I should have st I started my car this morning just to make sure that it was okay and um, now my battery Jackery said that it wasn't drawing any power and it was still at 1% or something so uh, I tried to start it again and it won't start, it's just clicking, so. So, as I'm debating what to do, one of the park attendants drove by and I asked him for help and he said as soon as he gets a moment he will bring a truck over and jump start it for me, so. I like when problems get solved this easy. Can you hear it? That's a motor that's running again, thanks to the park, to park attendant here. What a good guy. Thank you so much.